and the weather outside is frightful and MRE is not too delightful because they don't have enough calories in them and the components in them will freeze. So the US military's answer to extreme cold weather is this bad boy here, the meal cold weather individual. This is deceivingly similar looking to an MRE, but it's actually a different type of meal. It is not a meal ready to eat. It is in fact a dehydrated meal. This prevents freezing. It contains about 1,550 calories and three of these would make up a full day's component or full day's ration, bringing you to over 4,500 calories a day. That is sufficient nutrition for extreme cold weather. This requires about 35 ounces of water to rehydrate, so you would have to be carrying a good amount of water with you to rehydrate three of these things. Let's cut her open and see what we got. This is menu number nine, chicken and rice. I'm pretty excited about this because although I've never experienced the MCW before, the old school chicken and rice, which unfortunately was discontinued, was one of my favorite MREs from back in the day. The US military in its effort to simplify supply chain and procurement actually replaced the ration long-range patrol with this meal. So even though it's a cold weather specific ration, you might find yourself consuming one of these in a tropical jungle if you're an LRP. Dehydrated Mexican style chicken and rice, mountain house, 153 grams. Boy, that is, talk about vacuum pack, man. That thing's like a brick. We have osmotic cranberries, me. Standard MRE accessory pack to include coffee, creamer, chiclets, toilet paper, wet nap. Great. Standard MRE spoon, the highest quality. A chocolate banana nut dessert bar. Feels pretty dense. Are you serious? Interesting. Cornbread TFF. I've never actually had an MCW before. I've never been issued one during my time in the army. Yeah, I'm not too sure what a TFF cornbread is. Grape flavored beverage powder, no juice, in a self-contained drinking bag. So again, more water that you need to be carrying. So you have your main fruit, snack, bread, juice, and of course coffee. Okay, let's get this organized. All right, so let's start by getting this bad boy rehydrated. I'm trying to read the instructions on here. And it's very hard to do so because the package is so dead yeah, from being vacuumed. So let's just throw them. Get some air in there. Oh, listen to that hiss. Oh, listen to that hiss. Oh, man. That was a great hiss right there. So satisfying. Look at that. I can tell by the smell that this is going to be very different from the old school MRE chicken and rice. It says add 16 ounces of hot water. All right, get the kettle going, get some hot water on the go, and then we'll go with it. So while we're waiting on the hot water, let's get the grape flavored beverage powder in self-contained drinking bag on the go. Once the water is in the bag, we seal the block down. Shake em up, shake em up. Shake em up? What's that? It's a great new taste of ice cold Thunderbird with grapefruit juice. Just pour the juice in the bottle and. Shake em up, shake em up, shake em up. Shake em up. And now for the taste test. Very artificial smelling. That is exactly what you expect from any US MRE. Mm. Very sweet. Wow, very sweet. Very refreshing. It's grape Kool-Aid. That's delicious. I mean, it's grape Kool-Aid, but it is very good. All right, I'm actually gonna stop the kettle just short of boiling because it said to use hot water, not boiling water. I'm eyeballing this here too. I don't know if I'm getting exact amounts of water. It said go with 16 ounces. My experience with dehydrated food is less is more. 
Start with less, add more if you need it. How did you get down here? Uh, and a quick pause, because we got a dog on the set. Would not be difficult, my Fuhrer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. President. All right, it's been a good 10 minutes. Let's get into that chicken and rice. Hey Let's see how that bad boy turned out. It's entirely possible I did not put enough water in it, but... Ooh, it's hot. Let's give it a stir, and let's see what we're working with, shall we? Kind of got like a tomato-y looking sauce. Look at that. It smells flavorful. A quick note of thanks to all those of you who have helped support this channel and help keep it sustainable. MREs are an expensive hobby, so if you are able to, and you would like to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link below in the description. Thanks very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. It was your support of this channel that got me this new high speed background you see over here in this nice new recording space. So thank you all very much for your support. It smells interesting. It's definitely tomato based. To me, this is more like chili than it is chicken and rice. Not bad. That's pretty enjoyable. Definitely has a chili-like flavor to it. I can tell you. Mmm, not bad at all. I'm very spoiled when it comes to chicken and rice. My wife makes chicken and rice that will blow your freaking mind. She uses the Goya yellow rice, and then she mixes both adobo and saison in the whole thing, so it's salty, it's garlicky, it's spicy, it's got that umami flavor like kicks you in the mouth. Shout out to my wife, best chicken and rice ever. But this does not suck. Perfect meal for an extreme cold weather environment. It's heavy, stick to your ribs kind of food, warm you up from the inside. Really good stuff. Now let's peep out the osmotic cranberries. I think we all have a fairly good idea what these taste like. There they are. Not entirely different from raisins or anything like that. Probably a little more tart. Like all other osmotic fruit in MREs, they have a weird smell and a weird appearance. They have almost like a coating of oil on them or something. Not bad. Osmotic cranberries, definitely better than osmotic raisins. A little bit of tartness, a little bit of sweetness, a nice snack. Nothing to write home about. All right, let's shift gears for a sec. Let's go to the accessory pack. Sugar, matches, moist towelette, hot sauce, nice. Toilet paper, creamer, non-dairy. Coffee Instant Type 2 Spray Dried. Nice that it's not a regular old freeze-dried Bill's Brew. This Coffee Instant Type 2 tends to be really good stuff. Let's get it in some water. Got some nastiness going on at the bottom of that cup. I don't think we'll be using that. Let me go with the mug here. I don't know if you can see what that says in the reflection of the lights, but it says, my favorite child got me this mug. Can you tell that this was a birthday present from Junior Scout? Now, some people like their coffee. Like, 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 All right, while well, that's cooling off, let's give the cornbread TFF a try. Looks like your standard issue MRE pound cake. It's pretty dense. <laughs> let's give it a taste. I love cornbread. I love the smell of it. I love the taste of it. Nothing I like better than cornbread on a Sunday morning. Right out of the toaster, some butter on it. This is not that, but it'll do. It's cornbread. Like all MRE pound cakes, it's really dense, it's heavy, sweet. The taste of corn is very strong. This, of course, does have a little artificial undertone to it, just like you would expect in anything that came in an MRE, but it did have a strong cornbread taste. Coffee's still looking pretty hot, so while we're waiting, let's go with the chocolate banana nut dessert bar. Broken half. Now that's a pretty dense looking snack. Looks good, looks like a 
chocolatey kind of granola bar. <laughs> Smells interesting. Let's give it a try. Has a smell to it like an old zone bar. Nice flavor. It's got a nice chew to it as well. Like it didn't just disintegrate in my mouth. Tastes pretty good. The taste is a little thick, like a little heavy. That's very thirst provoking. I'm already looking for water. It's not bad. It tastes actually very nice. And finally, Z coffee. I recently had my 45th birthday and Junior Scout was kind enough to get me this mug which says my favorite child gave me this mug. He's a cheeky bastard, but he's a good kid. Mm, that's good. The coffee instant type 2 spray dried. I actually can't really tell the difference between this and a real cup of coffee that came from a coffee maker. Not as bold as the Bill's Brew. Instant coffee has a very distinct flavor. And usually when you're drinking instant coffee, it's just because that's the only option. This is different, very nice. So that was the United States' take on Arctic conditions and Arctic rations. If you'd like to see some other Arctic rations that I've reviewed, check out this playlist over here. I think you might find that interesting. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you would like to and you're able to, consider supporting this channel. Buy me a coffee link below in the description, and I will see you next time. Peace!